The rescue teams in Kathmandu aren't giving up. They still hope to find survivors from the worst earthquake in 81 years. They're also looking for bodies beneath the mountains of rubble. We are trying to remove from here. That's making too secure. There's a people or not. We are trying to find less way. We are said to the protect from the disease. As time passes, the chances of finding survivors recede. Although one teenager was found alive five days after the quake. The number of homeless, injured and dead continues to rise and the bodies are being burned. Dozens of families wait their turn to say farewell to their relatives. This young man lost his father, but he still hasn't been able to cremate him. When the earthquake struck, my father couldn't run because he had problems with his leg. They could have saved him in the hospital, but he didn't get the attention he needed. The priest in charge of the ritual says bodies are piling up in neighbouring buildings. While as many as 15 fires burn simultaneously here, a few kilometres away, people are doing whatever they can to get out of the city. It's not possible to live here anymore. There's no electricity or water. Everything is decomposing. Food prices go up every day. And what the government promises never arrives. And the smell in some places is unbearable. Despair mounts as aid barely trickles in. Those with nowhere to go have spent another day under canvas by the roadside. It could take them years to get back to normal.